I'm going to show you how to integrate forms into your team. So if you want to assign a quiz or a form to your students, you can uh, attach it and send it right through your teams. Now the workflow I like for this is actually to go to Microsoft Forms and build it. First, you can go through here when assignments and then click new, but all that's going to do is bring in a Microsoft Forms to build it anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Forms. And I'm going to start building a new quiz. Now you do have two options. You have you can create a new form or a new quiz. Remember, a form is only for data gathering purposes. A quiz is going to have answers and get points for all that kind of stuff. So as general, we're going to use a quiz. So I'm going to create this quiz. I'm going to give it a title. I can enter my description. If I wanted to add an image in here, I could upload an image from my computer. I could have um, a picture right on there or just leave it blank. Now I'm going to start adding my questions. So I'm going to go to add new and I have the option of doing a text, a choice, a rating. I can go down here. I can actually do a file upload so students could upload files right to the form. I'm going to go ahead and stick with choice for this one. And for this example, I'm going to show um, some math because there's some cool features when it comes to using math questions on here. So if I click these three dots in the lower right hand corner, I have a math option and it's going to pop up an equation editor or an equation builder. So when I click in here, I have my little equation builder pop up. So let's say we're going to work on some nested parentheses. I could go ahead and build my equation and make it nested. We're going to do 12 plus 2, something like that. So I have some nested parentheses in there. Now I'm going to click OK, and here's a really cool feature. It's going to pop up some answer choices with the correct answer already selected. So I can just do Add All, and all those are built in. The correct answer is selected. All I have to do is assign some points to it, make it required, and that question's good to go. But that's not the end for the math part. It gets a little better. If I click on Add New, so I'm going to create my second question. I have down here now some question ideas. So you can see down here, none of these are nested parentheses, so I may not want to use them. And really, following the rules I have up here, there's no reason for a nested parenthesis. But let's say I did want to use that one and that one. I could just click on them, do add selected. They're built in with the correct answers and with the answer choices already ready. So that's a real quick way to make a math quiz for your students. Um, you could do another question and you'd find that same formula and it would apply that to multiple questions. Another thing about adding questions that I want to show is you do have the option. If I click on insert media here, I can actually upload an image or a video. When I click on video, it's going to want the URL or Microsoft Stream. Um, so you can put a YouTube video right in here. So I could copy and paste that and that video would show up right in that question. So that's a cool way to get a video right inside your form so they can actually play it right inside the form and view it and then answer the question that goes along with it. So now if my form was all built, all ready to go, I had my points assigned to each one with the correct answers chosen. Okay. Instead of just doing share and getting this link, when I send it out like that to all my classes, so if I have five classes and I send this link out to them, that means all of their data is going to come back to right here. So I'm going to have all five classes, so potentially a hundred some students data right here with no real way to organize and sort it. That's where Microsoft Teams comes in really handy. So now that I have that built, if I go to my team and I'm going to go to my sample class, I'm going to go to my assignments and I'm going to create a new quiz. So I'm going to create. Now I'm going to click on quiz. Again, whenever I use a Microsoft form, I want to go through quiz. I don't want to put it as a link. I want to do quiz. So I'm going to click on quiz. You can see it's going to bring up all of my Microsoft Forms that I've created. 
So all I have to do is click right here on the sample form and it's going to attach it. Now like I said before, you can just click here and that will bring you to Microsoft Forms and you can create it and go back. Um, but it's almost easier just to go to Forms and create it and then just find it here. Next. Now here's the great thing about doing this through Teams is when you assign to multiple classes now, it creates a new form for each class I assign it to. So when I go back to review that data, it's gonna be broken down by class into different forms. So it's not gonna be all lumped together. So I can enter my directions here. If I had links to other stuff they need to do, so if they needed to read an article, I could put the link to the article up here. And they could click on that. They could take the quiz. You can see I had four points on that, so it's gonna get assigned to them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and assign this. And I did wanna show you what it looks like when you go to review it now. So this is the assignment we just sent out, that form we just sent out. I'm gonna open it up. Now, you can see that it has a place over here that's going to automatically give me a grade for that form. So I'm not going to have to go into that form and look around to find it. It's going to be posted right here as soon as they fill it out. Now you do have the option is once they're done, you can click on their name. You'll be able to view that form right here with their answers. You can leave feedback on it and everything. Um, so it can all be done right inside here. You never have to go to forms.